clock is ticking down to July 2016. That is when Cleveland and all of Northeast Ohio have to put the best foot forward for the RNC. Oh, yes, and Lisa Marias, I guess you could say they have a long way to go to get ready. Paul Kiska, you found one area that I'm sure some will say would leave a really bad first impression. Yeah, that's true, Danita. You know, that's the downtown Cleveland skyline behind me, but take a look at this. That's the East Bank of the Flats. Look at all of that graffiti. That's not an RTA property, but you can see it from the RTA line, and there's a lot more like it on the RTA line. Waiting at the end of the line after a 20-minute ride on the rapid from Hopkins to downtown is this impressive view of the Cleveland skyline. But this is the first impression many visitors get on RTA trains. Whether you call it graffiti art or an ugly eyesore, there's a ton of it along the line. Endless graffiti and trash here between the West Boulevard and West 65th and Lorraine Avenue stops. Christina rides the rapid to downtown Cleveland for work. Uh, what do you think of RTA and what you see out your window? Um, I just see a lot of, like, just grittiness, um, a lot of graffiti. You can see where RTA painted over a lot of the graffiti, but it keeps coming back. RTA's Linda Kresick told me today there are plans to spruce up this spring and again before the 2016 RNC convention. We're going to be doing a major cleanup effort uh, in the spring when the weather breaks. So we're going to be working with the community with a number of downtown Cleveland leaders. Inside the trains, RTA is in the process of putting new seats like these on all of its transit lines. The old trains are in need of new seats, but we showed video of what we shot of the graffiti outside of the trains, some of it on RTA's property, some of it on private property to Cleveland Council member Dona Brady. Brady got a law passed in Cleveland forcing graffiti vandals who get caught to spend a hundred hours painting over graffiti. It's increased 50 fold from when we wrote it. It's inexcusable. It's not acceptable and it's inexcusable. Now, Brady said the city is looking at a paint that is uh, easier to power wash, and that's important because while setting up for this live shot tonight, one of the business owners in the flats came out here, and he told us this. When the city does paint over this, an hour after they leave, the graffiti vandals are right back at it. Live in the flats, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.